What is biblical hermeneutics? You might have encountered this big word when discussing scripture with someone. Let's define hermeneutics and its importance. Hermeneutics comes from the Greek word hermeneutikos, which means to interpret. Biblical hermeneutics simply is the study of how to interpret the Bible. Specific words, verses, and paragraphs to entire books. First, hermeneutics helps the reader determine if he or she should take a verse literally, as indicated by the use of normal grammar, or symbolically, as indicated by the use of metaphors, parables, poetic language, and the like. Secondly, the study of hermeneutics also includes knowing the historical context of a book, paragraph, verse, or word, who wrote it, what year was it, who was the intended audience, how did they receive it from their perspective and culture, and so forth. And third, additionally, hermeneutics is helping with regard to how we should see the syntax of a text, as the meaning of a verse can completely change merely through the misplacement of a comma. Hermeneutics is a set of rules, principles, etc., which one applies consistently in their interpretation of Scripture. 2 Timothy 2.15 Do your best to present yourself to Elohim as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, and who correctly handles the word of truth. You can tell biblical hermeneutics is crucial in order to know how to properly interpret the word of Yah and also to identify what it does and does not teach. Here is a great example. The Roman Catholic Church reads John 6.54 literally, to mean we need to have a literal digestion of Yeshua's body and blood in order to partake in eternal life. John 6.54 Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. Proper context and interpretation, i.e. hermeneutics, tells us that Yeshua was speaking in a figurative manner here. For when you step back and look at the entire chapter, it becomes clear in the larger context that he was speaking in a figurative manner during the entire passage. For example, in verse 35 of this same chapter in the book of John, Yeshua calls himself the bread of life. Should we read this to mean that Yeshua is literally bread? Or should we see this as a spiritual lesson of how Yeshua comes from the Father as spiritual food, spiritual food which is truth, to that leads to salvation. Catholics will tell you that Yeshua is not literal bread and that he was being spiritual in verse 35, but suddenly without consistent contextual reason based on consistent applied hermeneutics, Catholic doctrine asserts that Yeshua was telling everyone in that same figurative spoken conversation to suddenly take him literally in eating his flesh and drinking his blood. Yeshua tells us that literal flesh was not the answer, but that the truth he spoke was the food, spiritual food. John 6:63. 6, it is the spirit who gives life. The flesh is no help at all. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit. This is huge. The eating of real flesh is no help at all. This is an error that has led millions to believe they need the Eucharist from the Roman Catholic Church to be saved on the last day. One needs proper hermeneutics to read this chapter and take it for what it really says in a spiritual way. Please leave a comment below of a misused verse or experience with poor hermeneutics, or perhaps how you gain new understanding by using proper hermeneutics. I would love to hear your experience and knowledge on this topic. Thank you and Shalom.